Hi, ClimateX. I'm Katie Mulvaney, and I'm here to introduce you to Patrick White, who's going to be doing our session on nuclear. Patrick, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, everyone. Um, like Katie said, my name is Patrick White. I'm a second year graduate student in nuclear science and engineering, and my research focuses on the regulation and safety of new nuclear power plants. Uh, the session I'll be hosting is on the debate about nuclear power and its impact on climate change. So during my session in specific, uh, specifically, we're going to be looking at the Pilgrim nucle Nuclear Power Plant just outside of Boston. It's a power plant that's being shut down in 2019, and I want to have people take a look at really what are the impacts of shutting down a nuclear power plant on carbon emissions and on greenhouse gas emissions in Massachusetts, what are the potential economic impacts, and really what are the options for either maintaining nuclear power plants or building new ones within Massachusetts and kind of across the U.S.? Great. That sounds awesome. Uh, so I don't think that many of our participants have a background on nuclear power. Uh, do you have any reading materials that you suggest they look over before your session? Yeah, so there are actually a couple of really good pieces of background and reading that I can have people do before the session. Uh, the first one is actually a summary from an educational program at Carnegie Mellon that gives a pretty good background on really what nuclear power is and what its role in the U.S. currently is. Um, for a second set of readings, for anyone that wants to get a little more into the technical details, the Department of Energy actually has some um, really interesting PowerPoint presentations and reading material just on what nuclear power is and some of the science behind it. Um, for anyone that wants to keep going, there are also a few other uh, reference readings that you can do just about the history of nuclear power and about really what is its role in the U.S. electricity production. Wonderful. Those sound like awesome resources, and we are going to have those up on the ClimateX site very soon. Um, my next question for you, Patrick, is what's your prior knowledge and what's your experience with nuclear power? Well, my prior knowledge has actually been a, um, undergrad, an undergraduate and a master's degree in uh, mechanical engineering from Carnegie Mellon. Um, while at Carnegie Mellon, I actually worked for a couple different nuclear power plant design companies, including Westinghouse Electric Company. Uh, after graduating from Carnegie Mellon, I worked for NPR Associates down in Washington, D.C., and NPR was a engineering consulting firm that did specialty work for commercial nuclear power plants. So I worked on the design, the analysis, and a lot of safety related to the current operating nuclear power plants, as well as some of the new ones that are gonna be built um, in South Carolina and Georgia in the United States. So uh, after working out at NPR, came up to MIT, and I started doing research on nuclear regulation and nuclear safety. So uh, mostly in the commercial nuclear power sector, but I've also done some additional internships with uh, the US nuclear weapons complex. So, Pretty wide nuclear nuclear uh, nuclear experience. Wonderful. Well, we are excited to have someone like you with such great background in nuclear power. Um, my next question is, uh, Patrick, how would you say that uh, nuclear power ties into the issue of climate change and climate action? That's a great question, Katie. I would really say that where nuclear power can play a really big role in helping fight climate change and within climate action is that nuclear power is really the only proven technology that can generate carbon-free electricity on a massive scale. We're not talking about powering hundreds of homes or thousands of homes. We're talking about powering millions of homes with a single nuclear power plant. And so nuclear power is a really valuable tool if we're serious about trying to decarbonize our grid and reduce emissions. The issue is that nuclear power can be a controversial technology. So it's making sure that we have really a good open dialogue about what role nuclear power can play and more importantly, what role nuclear power we think, uh, what role we think nuclear power should play. Wonderful, great answer to that question. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with ClimateX before we wrap up? Yeah, I guess the thing I'm really excited about doing during uh, my session is really just kind of giving an opening dialogue with people that are really passionate about climate change and making sure they know some of the facts about nuclear power. Uh, nuclear power can be a really controversial, really misunderstood technology but like I said earlier, it does have a really, really large impact it could play on fighting climate change. So make sure the people that want to really take action on the subject know all the facts and know what role it can play, what are some of the potential benefits and what are some of the potential downsides. So really just making sure we have an open dialogue about the technology and answer any questions uh, anyone out there might have. Great. Well, we're excited for your session, Patrick, and everybody else out there at ClimateX. Uh, we hope you tune in. Thanks. Bye. Thanks.